Hello! Welcome to my Factorio tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky. When you get to mid-game and are making solar panels en masse, you may want to reevaluate using steam power for your factory and only use it as a backup source. For one thing, it consumes a lot of coal or other fuel and it generates a lot of pollution. So I would like to show you how to do that. What the game does is um, if you look at the night graph right here, it shows basically solar energy dipping downward at night, as it should, and steam engines though are running at full blast, whereas accumulators are only making up the difference. Now I don't know about you guys, but I have those accumulators there for a reason. I want them to power the entire factory through the day. So what I want to do is turn off steam power at night unless the accumulators are below, say, something like 5%. Now, I have an accumulator here, and I'm going to wire it to this pole. Now, all the accumulators will charge and discharge at the same rate if they're on the same network. So since all of my power poles are connected together, even these large solar fields here that have accumulators within them are going to have the same exact reading. So I usually like to just put a token accumulator in this steam area to make it easier. Or if you don't want to, you can also string those uh, red or green lines all the way across to your solar area. So what do we have here? When you look at the circuit conditions, uh, when you wire it up, it will show you that it's reading the charge level of the accumulator and it's a percentage between 0 and 100. And that is represented by signal A. So we're going to wire this to the offshore pumps that feed the steam engines. Now these can be wired in tandem or via power poles, it doesn't really matter. And since we only want these guys to kick on and therefore turn on the steam engines if the accumulators are below 5%, we just set a simple condition A is less than 5, meaning if the charge level is less than 5%, then they're going to turn on. So let's just copy that to all of these guys here. And then we can check and see, yes, they're all the same. <clears throat> and steam has turned off. Now I know it's not night, but this does work and it's a very, very easy solution for this problem. Now, there are other solutions, of course. Um, there's a more complicated, or slightly more complicated, with the, if you have a power switch, if you make a power switch, you can wire it if you segregate your steam engines from the rest of the network. And basically, take down these lines and only connect the steam engines through to the power switch and then to the rest of your network. If you do this simple solution and basically set this to a circuit condition, also related to the accumulators, the difficulty is that sometimes it will just flicker on and off wildly when it gets down to that accumulator uh, threshold level. It'll go up 1%, down 1%, and it'll flicker like a strobe light. Uh, to avoid the flickering, you can use an SR latch, and I'll give you a link to that if you want to be very clever with combinators, and I'll put that in this description of the video. Uh, but my favorite solution, I have to say, is just the simplest one of using the accumulator connected directly to the offshore pumps. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and may you never end up in the dark with no light. I'll see you next time.